Jaundice is a very common problem that newborn babies face in the first week or two of life. All babies when they are born do not have any jaundice. And the reason for that is this chemical called bilirubin which is constantly produced in the body is removed by the mother's liver as long as the baby is connected by the placenta to the mother. At birth, we cut the cord and so this bilirubin has to be removed by the baby's own liver. The baby's own liver is not used to doing this and so it takes some time to reach a level that can remove all the bilirubin that is being produced at this time. And that is the reason why there's a backlog of bilirubin and that can cause jaundice in the newborn. In babies where there is either RH incompatibility or ABO incompatibility where the mother is either RH negative or the mother is O positive or when there are babies may have certain deficiencies or certain enzymes, this can be exacerbated. Rarely this can happen because of the presence of a kephal hematoma or a bleeding in uh, over the skull bones. All these causes can increase the bilirubin production and this can lead to a higher level of bilirubin soon after birth. All bilirubin is not harmful. So we only treat the bilirubin levels if they reach a level where we think they may be harmful to the baby. When I'm talking of harmful, I'm talking of bilirubin reaching the brain. Normal levels of bilirubin do not reach the brain. However, if these levels are high, then they can enter the brain and that can cause permanent damage to the baby can cause hearing deficits, can cause abnormal movements and cause a delay in development. We want to prevent this and that is why we treat jaundice very aggressively. So all babies in, who are born in Medanta or who come to us in the first few weeks of life are monitored closely for their jaundice levels. Depending on the level of jaundice and the age of the baby, which includes both their age as in how many weeks they were born at and how many weeks they are after birth or how many days they are after birth, we calculate a cutoff based on uh, certain guidelines. If the bilirubin level is above the cutoff, then the baby is treated. If the levels are high, then we may need to give the baby some phototherapy, which is a form of simple treatment usually given in the NICU, where we keep the baby under special lights, which change the chemical character of bilirubin where the liver does not need to remove the bilirubin from the system but the kidney does it. If the levels are very high then we may need to perform what is called an exchange transfusion. This happens quite rarely and only when cases of jaundice are diagnosed either late or if the jaundice is very is rising very fast. Most cases of most babies with jaundice will not need any treatment some babies will need treatment with phototherapy and very rarely do we need to do an exchange transfusion in this day and age because we watch for jaundice and monitor the jaundice levels quite closely in our hospital.